I've been using self-affirmations in my personal life as a solution to negative self-talk and was inspired to record an album titled The Self-Affirmation Project. Before now, self-affirmations are in form of spoken words that one speaks to oneself. However, my new album is a compilation of musical self-affirmations that one can sing, listen to, and even dance to. Based on my research, it will be the world's first album dedicated to self-affirmations. So, I'm determined to promote this new project and go on a new album tour with my band. Here is my story, the making of the self-affirmation project. Hi everyone, and welcome to my very first making of self-affirmation album uh, vlog slash episode. Um, so I felt like a good place to start would be to perhaps tell you a little bit about myself and what I do. So I am a singer, I'm a band leader of the band called Janalia Soul. Um, we are a world music band uh, and also a fusion band, um, if you want to look at it in every sense of the word, because uh, we fuse a little bit of everything, um, traditional Nigerian rhythms, um, soul, um, jazz, and sometimes you hear a little bit of reggae. So yeah, but for the most part, uh, we are considered a world music um, band. So I'm doing this because I'm working on a new album titled The Self-Affirmation Project. Um, and the inspiration from this album pretty much came from um, my personal use of self-affirmations, like self-affirmations has helped me just be a better person. Um, I say these affirmations to myself if I'm nervous about something or if I have a job interview and I want to do well in the interview, I just tell myself, you know, I'm eloquent, I'm positive, I'm confident, you know, things like that. So I've used these self-affirmations in my personal life and I was inspired to write um, a song or several songs about these self-affirmations. Um, so much so that I had enough to make an album. So the whole album is titled um, Self Affirmation Project. So I'm really, really excited about it. And, and this whole vlogging thing is going to be about the making of the album. Um, yeah, so in terms of my background information, just so you know, because some people might be wondering, I do have one Ankara top and jeans. Um, I am a Nigerian American. My father is from Baltimore, Maryland, which is where I live. My mother is Nigerian. I grew up in Nigeria, so I speak Yoruba very well. And Leo, Eka so Eka Aro Eka Leo, she that Danny. So um, yeah, so I I have a little bit of best of both worlds, and actually I take a, a best of both worlds approach to my music as well. And that's how come you you will hear the traditional Nigerian rhythms in my music. I do have some songs in Yoruba. I sing in English as well. Um, you will hear the um, Afro pop, Afro beat, the jazz, the soul, just a combination of just the, all the genres that I like. Um, so like I said, I, I take a best approach. Oh, my approach is best of both worlds to my music. Um, so anyway, back to the self-affirmation project. I'm recording this album and it's being produced by one of Nigeria's best producers, if I may say so myself who also happens to be my husband and the uh, music director of my band, Janelle Yosso, and the bassist of my band. His name is Femi Sanya. Uh, we met actually playing music together. Um, I took some time off um, to go pursue my dreams while I was in college. And I'm so glad I did that because I got a chance to meet Femi. We toured together. Um, I was a backup singer in another world music band and he was a bass player. And uh, fast forward so many years later, we we're married with two boys, uh, Fifolu and Ayo. So we always do music together. It's a partnership and constant negotiation. So we have a project studio in our basement and we are recording this album there. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited uh, to have you guys be part of this journey. It's going to be a journey because this is my first time vlogging. Uh, this is my first time doing uh, making of or any kind of behind the scenes um, video of the projects that I'm, I'm I'm working on. I have released several albums, but this is actually the first time I'm doing a vlog about it. So I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time, but I know you guys don't mind because you know it's all new to me and you'll, you'll be patient with me. So with that said, I'm going to take you downstairs because today we actually want to work on... Um, I did a guide vocal for the uh, title track of the album called, which is titled, um, I Am Bold. So today we are going to be um, doing the actual vocals 
for the song. Um, usually when I when we start to, with the creative process, we kind of do like a guide vocal um, just to kind of lay the tracks to uh, come up with you know what the bass line would be, what the drum pattern would be. So the guide vocal is what we use to come up with the, or create um, the track behind what the music would be. So now that the music, all the instrumentation has been played, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to redo my vocals and do the actual vocals instead of having the guy vocals on there. And then we're going to invite uh, our drummer, who's uh, the drummer for my band, Janelle Your Soul. He's also going to be playing on the album. So we're going to invite him over to actually come and drum live on the album because we have decided that to have that organic, you know, Afro sound, uh, soul sound, jazz sound, we wanted everything to be played live on the album. So anyway, long story short, <laughs> I'm going to take you downstairs now. I believe is already downstairs waiting for me. So I'm going to take you downstairs and uh, I'm going to start working on the actual vocals for my first single titled I Am Bold. So let's do this. Okay, so while we make our way downstairs, I figured I'd share with you some of my goals uh, for my upcoming release. Number one goal is to lose weight, get in shape, um, be more healthy, have better stamina. Like I have these like mm -hmm, grandma arms. <laughs> I should have showed that. But yeah, and I'm trying to just, you know, get in shape. Um, mostly for the reason um, being that I want to go on tour with my band. Um, and when you're on the road, being on stage for two, three hours every night, five to six days a week, you have to be like super healthy and have good stamina and um, being in shape and getting in shape for my album is um, high priority so that when I do go on tour, I can be able to survive, you know, on the road and not be getting tired like halfway into my concert. So yeah, that's number one goal. Um, number two goal is just to continue to use my self-affirmation to have a successful project, you know. Um, I'm an independent artist. I did say we we're going to make our way downstairs, so let's go. Yeah, I'm an independent artist, so it's very important that I do a really good promotion for this project so that people hear about it. So another goal is just to learn the ropes, learn the business, and be able to promote and market this album really well. So I'm taking you downstairs right now. Uh, this is where we rehearse. It's a keyboard um, station, the drums. Uh, it's a little dark down here, sorry. And that's where I sit, the red chair. Uh, yeah, this is where we do our, re our band rehearsals. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Aside from losing weight, my other goal for the album is just really understanding the business. Like, it's one thing to be an artist, but you have to really understand the music business. Like, you have to understand the music business. I cannot stress that enough. Um, so with that said, I am working on, I'm just coming up with a really good promotional strategy as an independent artist. It's not always, um, feasible to have a big budget behind you to really give the album or the single a good or big push. But with the resources that I have, I'm trying to make the best of it and come up with a good marketing and promotional strategy uh, for my upcoming album. And with God's help, hopefully everything works out wonderfully. Um, another goal I have is to launch um, uh, a crowdfunding campaign so that um, folks can help out with the expenses of making a new album, such as shooting a video and costumes and going on tour and all that good stuff and the crew and personal assistance and all that stuff that are needed to have a successful uh, project. Um, another goal I have is to just continue to use my self-affirmations in my personal life to um, be, be a better person and to impact the world. Like I really want this album to be successful. And one of the self-affirmations that I say to myself is that I am going to release a hit record. I am going to release a hit record. I am going to release a hit record. My single is going to become a hit. <laughs> so yes, I use the self-affirmations in my life. And um, another one I use is I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change because I'm trying to create change in my music career 
I'm trying to create change in my health and my fitness. So, yeah, third goal is just to continue to use self affirmations and to share the the love and the power behind the whole concept of this project. So anyway, let's go into the studio, which is where all the magic happens. It's a little dark in here, so excuse me. So this is the studio. As you can see, we have a new digital board. Well, I can tell if you can tell that it's new, but we just ordered this like about a month ago. And my husband, Femi, he has to have the latest and the greatest <laughs> he has to have the latest and the greatest and um yeah he wanted to make sure that this album is going to be just the best quality that we can put out as independent artists so he ordered this um not too long ago and that's what we're using to do our recording uh, he also ordered like this super pricey microphone which i still don't understand why he had to order this but he swears that this microphone, let me do a close up. This microphone makes your vocal like, I don't know, crystal clear and um, yada yada yada. You know, he always has a reason for justifying why he buys these things. But anyway, um, yeah, as long as I get to sing, I really don't care what kind of microphone it is, as long as it's not too expensive. Because <laughs> I'm very frugal. Um, but yeah, so this is our studio. This is everything where the magic happens so i'm going to um go look for femi because he was actually supposed to be down here for us to work on um on bold vocals as i mentioned earlier so i don't know where he is probably somewhere upstairs so i'm going to go find him so that we can get started on this new song all right well it's not a new song but you know what i mean all right guys see you soon Okay, so I found Femi and we are now ready to start working on the vocals for Unbold. So Femi. This is my husband Femi. Say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're going to start working on the vocals for Unbold. Um, what's the plan? Uh... We will start with the chorus. the chorus first. Okay. Uh, we already have all the guide vocals. All the, I mean, the, yeah, the, the guide, guide vocals. vocals. Yeah. So we just use that as a, um, as a template and just go from there. Okay. Let me make sure everybody can see you. My check, my check. One two, one two. Next. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah, yeah yeah, yeah yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah 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 yeah. I made some tea because I need I need warmth in my vocal cords. Yeah 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 yeah. This is ginger, grated yeah, ginger, yeah, and um. Yeah 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 yeah. Mm, so, the last one is flat. Yeah yeah, I'm working on it. That's why I have tea. Yeah 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 yeah. So I have um, ginger, grated ginger and lemon here. And hot water, of course. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
You're singing melody, okay? Yeah, yeah. When I just practiced or something else? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see, decrease the volume already. Yeah. So just uh, click record. Ready? Play, click play and record first. Play. Play and we mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All set? Yep. What about the um, bridge outro? I already did that. So, so? Really? Me, I don't waste time, man. Oh, me, I waste time? I didn't say that. <laughs> 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 yeah, because you're only doing backup vocals. Yeah, do you see how long your back of vocals take? Yeah, so I do waste time. I didn't say that. Yeah, I waste time. <laughs> this is my self-affirmation. If you want real, let me hear you say, yeah, 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 Because the name of the song is titled I'm Bold, so I wanted to end on that note. No, no, not no, no, nope. no, trust me, nope. Okay, hey, I haven't done the lead vocals, so when I do the lead vocals, we can do that. Okay. Okay guys, so we are going to cut off the vlog camera so that we can focus on the session. I actually have quite a number of uh, vocals to do. I have to do my lead vocals and I'm doing all the backup harmony vocals and Femi is doing one of the um, backup vocals. So yeah, we're going to be here for like the next four hours and I don't think you guys want to stick around for the next four hours watching us go back and forth on the vocals. So thanks for watching and we'll continue again. Uh, next week with another episode. 
Um, so hashtag new album things, hashtag self-affirmation project. Thanks for watching. Bye.